Hey, Mr. J, you watching for Mama? Huh? Who you looking for? You watching for Mama? Huh? Poor little thing. He's all nervous. Mom went next door and he's just having a fit. <laughs> Well, Tuvies, I'm getting ready. I think we're going to go down to the beach today. How's that sound? You want to come on an adventure? Let's go. Hey, Tuvies, it's Psyche Bob. Well, look where I am. I'm at the beach. I'm sitting here looking at these condos. This is where I want to move to. And it looks like they have property open here. It says Caldwell Banker Elite for sale or lease. It's got some offices here, some commercial and probably it says finished retail and office. I could have an office down here on the lower level and move my home to the upper level. Wouldn't that be cool? And look, we look right out onto the beach. Isn't this awesome? I love it. I'm having such a good time here. Well, we're going to go down and see what there is to see. So come on along. I love it down here. As you can see, we're at the pier and right at the water there's the colonial beach municipal pier ahead of us you can see the water psychic bob is having an awesome day so i'm so glad you guys are here and we're just enjoying it so let's see what there is to see for those of you who are with me last time on this adventure here is the little gazebo at the pier which i'm just crazy about it's a beautiful day yeah, now look, the seagulls are flying. I tell you, let's go inside of this. <laughs> I love this. I have the best time. Well, I have a seat over here. How's it sound? Ah. Ooh, take my bag off. Oh, speaking of bags, today I am carrying my vintage Gucci Boston bag. There you go. Her name is Guccina. Isn't that great? This is an old bag from the early 1980s. It's over 30 years old, but I just love it. I'm into my vintage bags. So this is done in the navy blue. It's the Gucci Signature Collection. It dates from around 1980, I think. So it's about 37 years old, but it's been so well taken care of. It's hardly used. The leather is on is great. There's no damage to the canvas or stitching. I love it. So I got Guccina with me today, Louis Vuitton. My Louis Vuitton by Louis, he said that he needs a rest today. He didn't want to go out. It was too cold. But Guccina says, Psyche Bob, I want to go out. So I brought her with me. So here I am. I'm having the best time. And it is just beautiful down here. So I invite you guys, you know, join me for this adventure today. Our sun lord is bright and shining down high in the sky. And here we are on the beach. Now you can see the water out there. I love it, you know. Coming to the beach renews my soul. You guys ever go to the beach? Do you have a beach near where you live? I'd love to hear about it. I'm crazy about this pier. People come out here and they fish and tune into the oceanic energies. It's great. Here I am. It's great. Look at the the sun sparkling on the water today. Is that amazing or what? That's just beautiful. I'm crazy about that. There's our sun lord. Here's his light on the water. I love it. I am having the best time down here. You know, a lot of people don't like it when it's cold. They leave the beach, but I love to go to the beach in the winter time. I'm a winter person, so I'm loving it. Here we are coming up on our pier. It is an awesome time down here. In the summer, it's so many people, you can't even get up here. But in winter time, we have a really great time because we have time to just really be out and enjoy it. See, see the sea, see the seagulls, look at the fish. Maybe we'll see a shark today. You never know. Look at this, guys. Is this beautiful or what? There's a lone seagull flying. You know, the scientists say that all life comes from the sea. I believe in the great sea mother, the ancient goddess. 
Jesus, whom all life emanates. When I got to the beach, I felt connected to her. It's a place of balance. We have the Sun Lord, we have the Sea Mother. We can have harmony with our higher selves, harmony with all that is. That's what I think about when I come to the beach. You know, right now I'm looking up here and our moon is actually in the sky. There's our, our moon mother. I don't know if you guys can see her. I'll try to zoom in on it. It's very faint. But our moon mother is there in the sky. I don't know if it's going to show up. But that's okay. I can see it. I see our sun lord. It's a magical time. It's so important we take time. Take just time to be. You know, we're always rushing about doing, but we forget to be. We are human beings. That means we have to practice being human. Coming to the beach reminds me of that. It makes me slow down. It makes me attune to what's really important. Here we are at the beach, walking on the sand. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I don't know if we're at high tide or low tide. The water seems to be lapping in gently. There are some seagulls down there. I'm loving it. That sun lord is just shining down and blessing me today. You can see across the way the golden light reflecting off of those trees. Can you guys see that? Oh, it shows up on film. Isn't that beautiful? There's our sun lord. There's some trees. The air today is gentle and calm. I like it. You know, last time we were down here, we were looking for wands. I think that's a great exercise. So while we're walking today, I'm going to keep my eye out for driftwood wands. Maybe we'll find something magical to make a ritual tool out of. Yeah, you know, when you walk on the beach, you can find all sorts of things. Sea glass, shells, wands, all sort of magical paraphernalia. Listen to that lapping behind me. Isn't that beautiful? As I look down the beach, I just realized there is not a soul out here. I have the whole beach to myself. Well, me and the seagulls. Isn't that wonderful? I got a whole private beach today. It's a great time to think about some sea magic. They're my little seagull friends. He's watching the water, saying, Am I ready to fly? Should I wait a little more? There's a storm coming. He's going to go over here and talk to his friends. They're going to have a little chit chat about the weather when it's time to fly. You know, all of the world reverences the Sun Lord. Here you can see these two little seagulls. They were just sitting here watching the sun. Oh, now they're taking off. They were, they were watching the sun earlier and enjoying the light. Tubies, look what I've stumbled upon. I think, if I'm right, I've got a wand. Look at that. Oh, it's the perfect length, the perfect width. We got a magic wand. I think we're in business. Let's do some magic. It is spectacular out here. I love it. We're going to do a little earth magic today. I learned earth magic from Scott Cunningham. He wrote a wonderful book called Earth Power. I recommend you check it out. I'll put a link below to, for it. But Scott Cunningham says that the earth has its own inherent power. 
that all the elements carry power, which we have the Wicca believe. And uh, we're going to do a blessing for each of you today. Come on along. I'm right here at the edge of the water. You can hear it lapping and see it lapping up here. We're going to place a beautiful pentacle for all of you. And all you need is a patch of land, a magic wand. I've already offered this to the Sun Lord, the Moon Lady, to bless it. So we're going to do a giant pinnacle for all of you. So I'm going to draw this here. And if you want to do earth magic, it takes focus and intent. So as I'm drawing this, I'm visualizing all of you receiving blessings now. And as we draw this, you might want to think about some things that you want to draw into your life. Put a circle around it too. Oh, that's much better than my last time I did this. <laughs> it's like Bob's working on his earth magic skills. Now, once you draw it, you focus, you know what your intent is. Take your wand and trace it again. But visualize flaming blue light. And as you trace it, you can even chant. And our chant will go something like this. Here this pentacle I lay for blessings for my YouTubers by night, by day. Here this pentacle I lay for blessing for my YouTubers by night, by day. And we'll do it one more time because three is a blessed number. Here this pentacle I lay for blessings for my YouTubers by night, by day. Great Goddess, we invoke you. We invoke you as Mother of Earth. We invoke you as Mother of the Sea. We invoke Father Sun and Father Sky. Bring power to our request and our spell. And as this pentacle is swept out to sea and is dissolved, may the blessing of the Great Mother take these wishes into her heart and grant help, blessing, prosperity to all. I raise my wand by the power of Father Sky, our Lord on high. Sun Lord Sky Father, we call you also to assist in our magic rite. Bring your blessing down, and as your light shines upon the earth and illumines this pentacle, may it be blessed by your power. I call now for your power, Lord and Lady. May this pentacle be empowered, and may the earth bear witness to our request. And as the sea takes it away later today, let the power be released into all the universe. So mote it be. So mote it be. So you see, that's how simple earth magic can be. Now you could, there's a lot more we could do. We could have collected shells to surround the pinnacle or rocks and you could have added some branches or seaweed. There's a lot more we could do, but I wanted to follow my KISS principle. Keep it simple, smarty. So that's how we're doing it. You know, if you enjoyed today, if you enjoy learning about magic and working with natural energies, you might want to come out to our new show. Lady Angela and I are having the Witching Hour. It's every Sunday at 8 p.m. And we're going to do a live broadcast. We're going to gather members of the Order of the Purple Corps. We're going to be doing Q&A about Wicca, about magic, teaching people how to connect with the Lord and the Lady and discover Earth-based spirituality to bring the power of Wicca into your life. If you're somebody who said, well, Bob, I don't know about Wicca. I've never done it. That's okay. Come out to Sunday to our gathering. That's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. And we'll have more about that as we get closer. But 
put that on your calendars. Tune in to my channel live, and we're going to have a live broadcast and a live Q&A. So make sure to be there. You guys are the best. Our Sun Lord's going low quickly, and you can see shadows are now being cross cast across our beach here. You can see those little birds up there, little seagulls are trying to find a little patch of the, the waning sun. It's so beautiful coming through the trees. It's really like a paradise here. How many places can you go where you get your own private beach? I feel so spoiled. <laughs> I love it. It's with all, just us. Spirit Channel people and Psyche Bob together on the beach. I don't know about you, but all this magic is making me hungry. I think we'll drift up into town and see if we can find something good to eat. How's that sound? Come on along. Here's the war memorial and our American flag is flying as the sun sets. Very picturesque. It's so peaceful down here. I love it. You know, just when I'm peaceful, there has to show up somebody to make drama. This sign on the side of this building is a kind of a veiled threat, if you ask me. It says, at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Are they saying I have to do that? I have nothing against Jesus, but I don't like people telling me what I have to do. It seems a little hostile to me, a veiled threat. Well, we're not going to let that ruin our day. We're going to move on along. The trees down here are spectacular. Look what I just stumbled upon here. Look at these beautiful golden trees. How powerful against the blue sky. This looks like a picture postcard. Absolutely spectacular. Is that amazing or what? Look at that tree. I'm loving this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I tell you, that is amazing. I'm loving it. This is an old hotel. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a fairy ring, guys. Look at this. Is that not a fairy ring? Can you guys see that? I had that, I'd be having a little fairy statue out there. It looks almost like a little altar and a fairy ring. May well be. I'd make it such. Isn't that cool? I love it. Oh, I'm crazy about these trees. Can you see them behind me? Spectacular. I love it. Let's go get some food. You know, as our sun lord is setting quickly, it's casting kind of shadows over this little town. But it's got a lot of character here. Here we are coming up on the old hotel they renovated. The sun's just behind that ledge. Just beautiful. Every time I come here, I love to come and see this old hotel because they did a beautiful job on it. They seem to be doing some construction down here. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like they're digging up a pipe or something. Ooh. Drama in the city. Well, I guess we're not going down that street. We'll find something good to eat. This is a new little restaurant that recently opened. Um, I think it's called Sage, if I remember the name. It's all painted in sage green, which is kind of cool. Oh, they're having karaoke night. Come here. Should Psycho Bob come here and try karaoke? That might be fun. Looks like they're closed. I don't think they open till dinner time. So we'll just cruise on down the road. Where are the Chinese restaurants open? We might go back there. That was really good. Oh, guys, look what I just discovered. There's another ice cream shop here. This one is called Trickling Springs Creamery. It says hand scooped ice cream. I haven't been to this one. I went to the other, you know, the old ice cream stand. This looks like a good option, too. I'm definitely down for ice cream. <laughs> it's closed right now, but I bet in the summer it'll be awesome. Here we're coming up on the old Episcopal Church here. I like that building. I'm not much into Episcopal theology, 
but I certainly like the their their structure. I think it's a beautiful architectural piece. Ooh, the sun is bright today. Second Bob got put on his shades. Here we are coming up on the other ice cream stand I showed you last time I was here. That's the one I used to go to in the summer, but I didn't know they had competition just up the road. This one's great, I can tell you. I've eaten their ice cream. I love it. <laughs> I do. I love it. I'm having such a good time. Nothing like a small town. Look, people are traveling on golf carts down here. They have a city ordinance within the city you can travel on a golf cart. If Sega Bob moves down here, I'm definitely buying a golf cart. I'd have such a fun time with that. I really would. <laughs> I tell you, our Sun Lord is quickly moving to the west. There's that old building. You remember last time I was down here, I showed you this building. I just love this building. I think it has such character. It's got a tin roof on it. Reminds me of something out of Mayberry RFD or Andy Griffith's show. I'm loving it. Over here, we're at the main town park. It looks like they're getting ready for Christmas. Look at this, guys. They brought in, it looks like a bunch of Christmas trees. I don't know if they're selling them or putting them up for display. The Christmas trees are getting the gazebo up there set up. This is what I love about life in a small town. They actually do stuff that is really fun for the citizens. You never see this up where I live. Look at that gingerbread house. Is that great or what? Well, we're getting near Christmas. Season. Oh, and look back there on the lawn. There's a giant swan. That's certainly a blessing. And we got a little sleigh down here. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Look, and here's a little snow scene it looks like they're putting in up here. Oh, and there's, there's a sleigh with Santa's reindeer up there. Can you see that? Oh, I love it. I tell you, we're having such a fun time, aren't we? We're coming up in a little Chinese place. I don't know if it's open. It looks like it might be closed. Well, we'll see if it's open. Here it is. Here's a little Chinese place up here. Hunan Diner. Doesn't look like anybody's here, though. Well, I mean, it was Thanksgiving. Maybe they take off the day after Thanksgiving. We'll have to take a look. I don't see any signs on, so it might be closed. Maybe they're opening. Are you open? Just turn the signs on, and I think they're in business. Just like about to go up here, see if we can get something good to eat. I haven't had lunch yet. It's getting on to three o'clock. You know, come on along, guys. Here I am. I'm so excited. I got some wonderful steeping hot Chinese tea. Let's fill our tea cup. Oh, look at that, guys. Yum. Tea is delicious. Mmm, good. Look, tubies. Look what I got. <clears throat> I got a wonderful egg roll here. I'm dipping in Chinese mustard. Mmm, so good. And my food just arrived. I got General Tsao's chicken. Some rice over there. Ooh, we're eating like royalty. <laughs> well, tubies, I had a great lunch. I'm sorry I couldn't film more. That little restaurant, they fill it up and they sit everybody so close together that try to take your camera out you're literally bumping your elbow into other people but the food's good so I'm just looking at our Sun Lord you can see he's getting lower it's getting close to sunset it's only about four o'clock but uh, it's definitely sunsets around 4 30 now at least on the east coast of the United States well, let's go down and take another look at the water up ahead there's the riverboat restaurant that's where we went for Thanksgiving yesterday had a big dinner party. My sister-in-law's family were all there. There was a lot of people and it was kind of crazy, so I didn't film it, but it was a great restaurant. And the interesting thing is that we're on the shore of Virginia and Maryland claims the waters on the other side. So we're in the little inlet here. And uh, when, once you step into the restaurant, you're actually in the state of Maryland. So here we are in Virginia. We walk through the doors up there. 
We're in Maryland. Is that uh, Tubies? Look at the sailboat out on the water there. You guys see that? Just beautiful. Sun setting, and here we are coming up to the shore. I love this time of day. Sunset's probably my favorite time of the day. Here come our seagulls in. There they are. They're all around us. <laughs> the water's getting rough. I think a storm could be blowing in. Just high tide probably. Really actually looks like the water's up higher than earlier today. Wow, look at that sailboat. Isn't that beautiful? Can you guys see that? Way out in the distance there. I love it. It is just spectacular. Well guys, listen, I'm going to head back home. It's getting cold and the sun's going down. But I want to say thank you. Thanks for coming along on our adventure. I hope you guys had a good time. You said, Psycho Bob, we want to go to the beach. And Psycho Bob heard you. But listen, if you want to help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. And uh, make sure to mark on your calendars for Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, which will be 5 p.m. West Coast time, uh, 6 p.m. Mountain time, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, and it'll be 1 a.m. London time. So we'll see you guys here. We're going to have our live Q&A, our Wicca chat. I think we're calling our show The Witching Hour with Lord Bob and Lady Angela. So you want to be here. We'll see you then. Well, guys, I'm going to offer some prayers, and I'm going to head on home. Got to say a prayer to the great Sea Mother. Blessings to you all.